Tonight, the Warwick School Department is considering a number of proposals to downsize the district after a new report found more than a third of the city's classroom space is sitting unused. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has new details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Today, I spoke with the senior vice president of the firm that's been studying this issue. He says consolidation is not easy, but he says in this case, it's unavoidable. In Warwick, there are 16 elementary schools, three junior high schools, three senior high schools, a career and technical center, and an early childhood center. Those schools aren't even close to capacity. Edward Frenette, a senior vice president at the firm studying the consolidation option, says the district's high schools are the most vacant of all. It was something like 47 percent. Is the only solution in your mind closing at least some of the schools? Yes. How many? At this instant, we really haven't calculated the number of schools required. The firm also hasn't suggested which schools should close. Right now, there are nine master plan options which are being carefully evaluated. This is something that has brewing, been brewing for an awful long time. And it's, and it's something that touches a lot of the residents. Frenette says if the capacity issue isn't resolved, it would prevent the district from receiving some state funding in the future. They're not going to give you bonding authority over uh, to, to put boilers into buildings you don't need, to re-roof buildings you don't need. They're just not going to do that. In 2013, a plan to close two schools and convert Warwick Veterans High School into a junior high was abandoned after an overwhelming outcry from the community. There will be another meeting on Monday night to try to narrow down the master plan list from nine options to about five. In Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.